Peace and love, family, peace and love, live and direct from Arcata, California. Just wanted to talk about a couple things Um, in a very good book I've been reading called The uh, Four Agreements. It's a very, very good book, straight to the point. And it's like, um, this book is basically like a tool to put in your tool bag for this this life we live in. So before I get any uh, deeper into it, I want to wait for some more people to come on live. What's this? Oh, wow. You can put guests on here? That's dope. Peace and love, everybody. Um, Can you hear me before I get started? So I want to make sure that everybody can hear me because I know sometimes my phone be tripping. Plus, I'm kind of like in the forest, so it's hard for me to get service. Um, pieces, can you hear me? Before I get started, I just want to make sure. Testing, testing, one, two. What up, Leah? Coming on here, trying to sneak in. I like how you can see who's online. You can always see people you ain't haven't really talked to in a long time, but see I'm still coming on your page so anywho I'm gonna go ahead and uh push forward with what I wanted to speak about and um the first thing I want to kind of you know express um these things I've been experiencing and seeing in this reality at this time and day and age is that right now we are going through a very quickening phase everybody's starting to wake up everybody's starting to see like What's going on with the world? Something's just not right. So people are starting to wake up all over. You know, just, just feeling that it's, it's something not right with this world. So right now, everybody's waking up. Well, some people are waking up. Some people haven't made it there yet. And when I mean make waking up, I don't literally mean like they're, they're dead. But waking up to the awareness to the essence of their own being or beingness. And so um, everybody around, you know, they're getting into the yoga, meditation, you know, eating right, qigong, you know, just changing up things. It's, 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 when one person does it, it affects everyone around us. That's the beautiful thing. The more you focus on you and the more, you know, you focus on cleaning your mind, body, soul, temple, it echoes out to everybody around you. So it's a beautiful thing to have everybody, you know, being aware of what they're eating, you know, starting to eat better, starting to eat more organics or whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. But another thing is, um, you know, how should I put it? Everybody's kind of hungry for knowledge. Just, you know, don't, don't follow everybody's knowledge, you know, to be honest, the real, it's good to see, hear other people's perspectives on things and other people's viewpoints on life because we all live in our own different reality. And, um, it's cool to, to, to see what's going on in other people's reality, but know that the true answers are within, you know, the true answers lie within you. Um, you know, you really are your own, you know, master, um, we are here to all help and assist um, each other. But as far as some type of um, complex or somebody being better than the other, you know, none of that's how it is. You know, we are all the same. Just some of us is a little bit more, you know, aware of certain things. Or some people are just not aware of that. Or some people might not even perceive it like it really is. So, you know, just... There's a lot of, uh, this is the time when Scorpio and it's aligned with Jupiter. You got the Scorpio new moon coming up. Scorpio just lets it all out. It brings out the shadows. It brings out the dark side. It brings out the side of us that we try to keep in and act like we always namaste. We're not always namaste. We're not always, we, we're not always what you would call good. You know what I'm saying? We have both sides in us. So, you know, now's the time that the truth is being blotted out. You know, you can't you can't hide from the truth and you can't hide from the shadow within. 
because the shadow has to come out so you can see that it's there. Um, so, you know, just embracing your shadow side. And what I mean by that is embracing those parts of you that need love. Embracing those parts of you that you might not like. You know what I'm saying? Embracing those parts of you that you may shun, you know, or you may, you know, it's still a sore spot. You know, it's still a wound. And you have to, you have to clear those spots of you because if you leave all that pain and that hurt inside of your body, you know, it gets trapped in your organs. It gets trapped in your cells. So whatever it is, you need to release and face it. Let's just say you cheated on somebody before in a relationship and it's over with and it's done, but parts of that still hurt you or if you think about it it makes you feel some type of way feel that type of way don't judge it observe it get down to the root of it and transmute it don't let that stuff stay up in your aura field whatever it may be you might have got bullied when you was in school that might still be a soft spot to you you may feel some certain type of way if somebody says something to you release it if you feel it, just release it. Don't don't judge it. Where we kind of messed up, where we kind of mess up is, is when we start judging things or we start putting judgment or we start rationalizing or this is right, this is wrong. This is when we go down this down spiral. We just in our mind, just constantly thinking about that one thing. You're going down. You're going down. You're like, this is wrong that I do this. This is right that I did did that. You know, so nothing's right. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's right. Nothing is wrong. What you perceive as right, I might perceive it as wrong. And vice versa. It's the same thing with rules. You know, it's going to go into this book right now, The Four Agreements. We all agree to everything that we do. You know what I mean? All, everything is, is an agreement. So, if I come up to you and call you fat and ugly... And it makes you feel some type of way. You agree to it. You allow that into your reality. Because what I say to you shouldn't affect you. If I say something to you, what we would perceive as hurtful, and you take it in that manner, you just allowed your power to be taken. Nothing should, you should not be affected by anything that somebody says to you. Oh, they call me a black bitch. Okay. They called you a black bitch, okay? You can react and get mad and feel offensive and feel sad and all of this. Or you can simply not even let it penetrate in your reality and keep it moving. Only the ego gets hurt. Only the ego feels shame and guilt. Oh my gosh, maybe I am fat and ugly. For it to hurt you, you have to think it too. You must think it yourself if it hurts you. Goes into this book called The Four Agreements. The first agreement is not taking things serious. It's not that serious. It's about how you make it. You got a flat tire. You were supposed to make it to a birthday party. Guess what? You're going to be late. So you can get all mad and frustrated and no shit. The party. How I'm going to make it. Or you cannot take it personal and let it be what it is. Okay, your car has a flat. Let's come up with a solution. Instead of going down a down spiral, we get stuck. We get stuck in that stress. We get stuck in all of it. You know? So, observing the situation and observing your thoughts as they run. As your thoughts go, be the observer. Don't let the, the situation or the being or, or the thoughts take over your reality because it's yours. We're too busy worried about external stuff that don't even matter. It really don't matter. It's really not that deep. This life is, is really as easy as you make it. So, you know, just not taking things in life too seriously. Like, okay, I get it. It's your reality. You can do whatever you want to do. You can paint your avatar. You can cut your avatar hair off. You can grow your avatar hair. It, you know, you can grow it. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? This is just a vessel. Okay? God, the divine, channels through you and works through you for you, for us. And so, the more you just don't worry about this external stuff that's going on, 
um, you know, the easier it is to focus on self. Now, you know, you just you won't take things seriously. So I encourage you the next time somebody says something or a situation makes you feel some type of way, instead of reacting, I want you to be the observer. See where it hit. Did this hit something in my childhood? Did somebody in my childhood do this to me or make me feel this type of way? If so, assess it. Because it has already happened. You cannot change something that already has happened. The only thing you could do is change the outcome or the, manif the manifestation of the situation. That's up to you. And so... You know, the next time something makes you feel some type of way and makes you feel sad and makes you feel guilty and makes you feel angry, it makes you feel whatever, just observe it first. See where it was really coming from and ask yourself, is it really that serious for me to feel this way right now? And so the next agreement out of this book and it's a real good book you can read it for free or you can auto listen to it on, on on youtube it's called the four agreements but the next one is um knowing that your word is power like right now in this in this quickening stage of life things is manifesting fucking fast i mean master manifestor i mean Seriously, like things are manifesting fast. And so whether whether or not you are aware of the manifestations that's coming quickly to you or not in your life or not, it is what it is. <clears throat> but your power lies in your words. So watch what you say. If you always speak highly and, you know, bad about yourself, you this, you that, you stupid, I'm sorry. The worst thing we can say is I'm sorry. And it's a program that's programmed in all of us. Sometimes we just say, it, oh, I'm sorry. You are affirming that you are sorry. So, you know, we just have to watch what we say because we spell when we speak. Because the tongue is sharp. So, you know, watch what you say, you know. And then say what you want to say that you want in your reality or how you want your reality to feel. Smell how you want your reality to feel. However you want your life to be, visualize it. See it. Who are you with? What does it feel like? Whatever you want in your life is up to you. It's not up to no outside force. It's up to you. If you want a job, guess what? You get up and you go look for it. It's up to you. So just watching what you say to yourself and watching what you say to others. We damn others. We curse others. You know, gossiping and talking about, you know, talking about people and all this. And, um, you know, it happens. It happens. So, you know, we just have to become aware of it. So, you know, just knowing that the power is in your word. If you say you can't do it, guess what? You can't do it. If you think you're sick and you're dying, guess what? You're sick and you're dying. So, you know, put a little bit more power in your word. Because your word is what creates your reality. And so, um, the next one, if I can remember, is, um, you know, always bigging yourself up. Congratulate yourself. If you broke a pattern, shit, high five, I done broke a pattern, I used to do this, now I ain't doing this. Like, big yourself up, you're fucking dope. Hug yourself right now, love yourself, love yourself, we don't love ourselves enough, you know. We're always nitpicking at what we are not, or what we do not want, or what we can be, that we don't even focus or give thanks to the present moment of what we are. You're dope. So, you know, big yourself up. Whatever happens, even if you don't pass something or something doesn't go the way you want it to go, so what? You still dope. Never talk down on yourself. You know, never never talk down on yourself because you're, you're dope and you're loved. You know, there's no right or wrong in what you do. 
just keep striving and doing what it is that you do want to do. And whatever you don't want, simply cut it out your life. And it may seem easier said than done, but it really starts with us. And it really starts with just doing it, you know. You want to lose weight. You know, research good exercise plans. You know, research, you know, different things that you can eat. Research support groups. It's up to us. Get out your own way. Get out your own way. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really all up to you. You know, the power is in our hands. And so, um, you know, just really self-loving. Self-love. Seriously. We got a lot of hurt, broke souls out there, and it really, and it really starts from 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 our childhood. You know, it starts. Parents, it's so important to be a parent. I'm not a parent. I don't know when I'm gonna be a parent, but I know it's so important for you to really. And what is the word parent? I don't even want to say that. It's so important to be that 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 guardian or that uh, over. I don't want to say overseer. I just will say guardian. Over that being that you may, you know, that, that child that you may have. It's so important to water them with love. Tell your children how beautiful they are. Embrace their imagination with them because your inner child is still inside of you. Five-year-old you is still you. You didn't go anywhere. You're the same person. You're just in this quote-unquote adult body. So... Loving your inner child, you know, loving that little part of you that was hurt, you know, by somebody or, or abused physically or mentally. Love that part of you. Love your children. Fertilize them with good soil. Instead of always putting them in front of the TV and letting them do this and that, play with them. Show them some attention because that's why we got fucked up people in the head now. We're so programmed with so many programs and it's hard for us to get it together now because we've been programmed with all the programs. And what did I mean by programs? I mean by belief systems. I mean by we're like this so we can't like them because they're like that. Like programs. It's a program from birth to automatically assemble the color pink with a girl and the color blue with a boy. That's already a program. Who the fuck cares about a color? Like, this is what I mean. None of it really matters. It's a color. You know, so just from that very start, that's a program. Because then if the child grows up and they want to wear uh, the opposite, they, a boy wants to wear pink or a girl wants to always wear blue, then we put another belief behind that. That's wrong. You can't do that. This color's for little boys. This color's for little girls. Programming. It starts from the parents. It starts from the parents. The guardians. It starts from y'all. It starts from us. All of us. Because all of us have little children around us. So, you know, bigging yourself up and loving your children. And so the... Uh, uh, the fourth agreement is, let me see, not taking anything personal. Um, oh, man. I'm not really sure what that fourth one is. Has anybody wrote, read the four agreements? Let me know. Oh, I know what the fourth one is. And if it's not, I'm going to just say it because it's a good one. Remaining in the present moment. Staying in the pre Oh, I might know what the four ones is. Hey, babe. What's up, baby? Could you tell me the four agreements? I forgot the four. It's, it's, um. Don't take anything personal. Don't take anything personal. Um. um Always use your pow the powers in your word. Speak with impeccability. Okay, yeah. Uh. Do your best. Always do your best, and you need one more. What's that last one? One second. I'm trying to figure out what the fourth one is. What, is it being present? Oh, no assumptions. Yeah, don't make no assumptions. Oh, yeah. And so, the fourth one in the four agreements is not to assume anything. Don't you dare set your mouth to assume. 
when you go to some restaurant that they're going to have them uh vegan quesadillas okay. you want. This ain't nobody. This I'm going to lie. Oh, hey. Peace, peace. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, just don't assume things because you don't know. You know, so don't assume that you're about to go somewhere and eat something and then you get there and they don't have that. Like if, oh, thank you, baby. If they don't have it, they just don't have it. So, um, so whatever, you know, whatever it is, just don't, don't make any assumptions about it. If you're feeling some type of way about a person and, you know, about a situation, then you should, you should come up and communicate with them because communication is, that should be the fifth um, the fifth one, but it's only four, but I feel like that should be the fifth one because communication, wow, that's the one you need to go to. Without clear communication, there's no clarity in things. So never assume something because when you assume, you're not too sure. And then when you're not too sure, you start, s I'm, yeah, I'm good. You start speculating. Yeah, well, let me get two tacos. I changed my mind. You start speculating and you start assuming that, well, maybe they're doing this. Or maybe she feels like this. Or maybe they don't like me. You just start going down this long, damn spiral of assumptions. Just assuming, assuming, assuming. So, never have any assumptions on anything. You know, expectations is another one. Never have any expectations of anybody because that's them and their reality you never know what might happen you might want to you might have planned to get up tomorrow and go on a picnic with somebody and do yoga but guess what it might rain so you know make plans but don't get attached to them you know what i mean so don't have any expectations so the whole point is you should definitely 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 read the four agreements definitely 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 read the four agreements and um you know the truth is within the power is within don't know don't 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 let nobody tell you what you can't eat how you can dress what you can say well so and so said it ain't good to eat this lemon because it ain't alkaline. It's too acidic. Who gives a fuck? This is your reality. If you agree that if you take the lemon and this is what starts happening to you, then you agreed upon it, you guys. We have to really start standing in our power. Like, I do understand that we operate in this 3D realm and we do go by some 3D things here because we all agree to it. But this is your reality. Don't judge what you do. If you a so-called vegan or whatever label or whatever bondage or whatever box you want to put yourself in, it's up to you. But if you are a quote-unquote vegan and let's just say you love pizza and let's just cut it, that, that Daya, Daria, whoever cheese, that's not going to do it. That's my cheese pizza. And the shit got so much shit in it, it's better if you ate some, some cheese. So all I'm saying is don't deprive yourself because you're trying to fit behind some fucking label. If you want to eat some cheese pizza and you ain't never had mucus in your system and your, your, your first eye still popping and your chakra still popping, who cares? Don't deprive yourself. You're still putting yourself in bondage. It's another box. The power is in your word. If you want to eat that pizza, speak over it. Speak over the pizza. It's really not that serious. So all I'm trying to say is <laughs> just don't take this life so serious. Do what you want to do. It's your reality. We wear so many different masks because we fit behind so many different titles and so many labels and so many boxes of bondage that we can't even be authentic just look around you got the rasta movement you may have your yogis you may have your muslims you may have your christians it's all little groups they're all in the same vibrational link nobody is an individual really 
Because it's all the same set of beliefs. You can't do this, maybe, or we have to all pray on this day. It's just set of rules and just set of beliefs. But nobody's really authentically being their self. There's things that people really want to do. But they don't do it because, I don't know, some type of religion. Some type of, that's wrong or that's right. Or some type of, well, I'm this so I can't be that. We are everything and we are nothing. Stand in your power. Let's stand in our power. We are everything and we are nothing. We're all of it and we're none of it all at the same time. We are it, but we are not attached to it. Don't deprive yourself of anything. The more authentically you, you are, and however that may manifest, that's what it is. That's when you be your truest. That's what the true key to this freaking video game is to be you. If you want to right now go do one of your eyebrows pink and another one of your eyebrows green and you worried about it don't match, what will people say? Who gives a fuck what anybody says? Do your eyebrows pink and green. Who cares what somebody says? You still breathing. You're still driving a car. You're still healthy. Oh, you still have shelter. And you still bomb as shit. Who cares? All I'm saying is, be you. Don't take this life so serious. We stress out over things that don't even matter. Be like a child. Of no worries. Don't wonder how it's going to happen. And when it's going to happen. Know that it shall happen. You know. And I know it's all easier said than done. But the most important thing is awareness of whatever it is. And so I can go on for days. But I'm about to wrap this up. And I really enjoy just being able to just channel all of this through. And um, I enjoy sharing space with all of you and being able to connect because I know we're all collectively tied into one, uh, one frequency. We're all feeling the same. So, you know, let's just be whatever it is without a label. Nobody's going to get you vegan if you want to eat a piece of cake and it was made with eggs and your grandma made it. Don't damn yourself because of some label. Be you. I love you guys. I'm not here to pressure you or make you believe or do anything. I'm just here to deliver a message. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. And please share the video. Spirit told me this one needs to come out. Um, so share the video. Much love and light to all of you. May all of you be blessed. And may all that you want rain down in your reality. Peace out.